Yeah, what is it? I'd like to earn a big tip. Okay, Slick, let's see what you got. But don't get tricky on me. You hear? He was so taken with the gold watch that he was almost friendly. After all, he wasn't against having a little company. I took advantage of his good mood to pump him for information. It sure wasn't going to be easy, though. Since I'd bragged that I was a good pool player, he challenged me to make three very difficult shots. Loosening up, Sergio happened to mention there was another entrance to the club that led to a dead-end alley, and that the boss used this door with its three coated locks to slip in and out discreetly. Before the pool game was over, I'd managed to get the lowdown on LaGrange, thanks to Sergio. I went back to the hotel to be with my beautiful Ada, completely unaware another storm was brewing. Inspector Van Dale had put my description out all over town, and of course Ada had heard about it. She was an intelligent young lady, though, and I knew she wouldn't believe I was a murderer. From now on, we would be bound together by our mutual trust, and we were so eager to get to the bottom of all this that we weren't going to let anybody stop us. Not Inspector Vandal, not anybody. That same night, we set out for Tony Marcos's office. I could hardly keep my eyes off Ada dressed in that number. She was the one who'd insisted we try to get her ex-boyfriend's secret documents. She was in command, and I was more than happy to take her orders. Sweetheart, get those neurons working. Very funny. You're certainly not much help. I used the oldest trick in the book to work out the door code to Marcos's office. Fingerprints. Sergio, the guy from the pool hall, would never have guessed just how useful his little gift turned out to be. Not yet. Yes, go on. <laughs> Great. I saw the last three digits. Two. Four, nine. But we're one short. Still, it shouldn't be too hard to find which. You're the student. You try figuring it out. That's right, Max. I'm the brains. You're the muscle. Great. Now we've got the fingerprint. Yes, it is, but still, I need to think a second.
You're sure this is Marcos's office? Of course. Don't forget he's brought me here many times. I'd have known. <laughs> Careful now. It's not in the bag yet. Scout trick. We did it. Marcos's office is on the left at the end of the corridor. the copy of his office key here. Oh, Max, you're so clumsy. They cover our tracks. Made it in. <laughs> 